Hello folks, Jason Christman here, JC's Bees, your Central Ohio beekeeper. Today I want to talk about small hive beetles and a new method I'm going to use to try and control them. Small hive beetles. These little beetles are quite the pest for beekeepers. These beetles invade our hives and they'll lay eggs. The eggs will hatch and larvae will start to crawl around inside the colony. This larva will eat honey, brood, pollen, and it also bores holes through our honeycomb, pretty much destroying the inside of the colony if the hive beetles are not controlled in some manner. Now the job of these larvae, after they reach a certain age, is to exit the colony, fall out onto the soil, where they'll bore a hole down into the ground, and they'll finish their life cycle. Um, after which, they re-emerge from the soil and fly around as beetles and become the pests that we all know as beekeepers. This new form of control that I want to discuss today is with nematodes. Um, there's actually a certain strand of nematodes, and nematodes are basically uh, a round worm. But this particular strand of nematodes is completely safe for plants, people, pets, and bees. So there is no harm. They're actually so safe that there is no federal regulations on their use. So what you do is you apply these nematodes to the soil and they go down in and they hunt out small hive beetle larvae. And what they do is they go down into the soil and they hunt out any form of small hive beetle, whether it be the larva, the pupa, or the beetle itself. And for each one of these um, forms of life that they destroy, it creates another 20,000 nematodes. So it's pretty interesting how these nematodes can survive in the soil and help control what we beekeepers battle every single day. Sure, there is a few tips you can do to help uh, lower the hive beetles in your bee yard. And one of those is going to be keeping your hives in full sun. The other step, um, keeping the, uh, the grass clean underneath your colonies. Just this week, um, I took and weed eat it underneath all of my colonies here in the yard. And what that's going to do is it's going to help the sun be able to get down to the soil and dry it out. Now, at the same time, this dry soil isn't necessarily the desired soil for uh, nematodes. So, if you're in an area that experiences droughts, um, experience or maybe your soil is just really hard compact you might not have such great luck with these nematodes now I am in an area that gets a very very dry summer but our spring and our falls are very damp and wet so for that reason I'm gonna give it a try see how they work out the experiment with them um, I see this as a great tool to be able to uh, battle the hive beetle where they populate which is in the soil, and control them. I mean, why not give it a try? Okay, so what you're looking at here is how your nematodes will come in the mail. Inside this package is five million nematodes in a Ziploc baggie. I've had them in the refrigerator the last couple days, and today we're going to apply them. This would be your nematodes mixed in with some gel, so we'll set this off to the side, and this is what we'll be working with right here. Now this one packet of 5 million nematodes will treat approximately 10 colonies, and that's going to be a gallon of water with nematodes mixed in per colony. So what I've got here is a watering can. Here I've got 10 gallons of water, and down in my bucket of water, I have a real fine tea strainer and we're going to use that to separate the nematodes from the gel. You don't want to necessarily put the gel on the ground because your bees are going to constantly be going to the gel because it's a source of moisture. So therefore we're going to separate the gel and the nematodes and uh, put the nematodes in the water and discard the gel. So what we're going to do here, we're going to take our scoopy cup, which I have here, a measuring cup, and I'm going to take a little bit of our water here and I'm going to put into the baggie. 
Now I'm gonna ziplock this back up and kind of swish it around a little bit. Dislodge the nematodes from the gel, just like so. And now what we're going to do is pour this into this cup through our strainer. Now pour the contents through the strainer. And just to make sure that I got it all, I'm going to dip this bag down in the water and put some more water in it. Swish it around again. And rinse out this gel here. I'm using my hands and mix it up a little bit. I'm going to do this one more time. I don't want to get any gel in the water though, or try to avoid it if possible. So there we got more water. And we now have our nematodes separated from our gel. So what I'm going to do is take my pocket knife now and stir this up. And then I'm going to put half in this bucket and half in the other bucket. And it'll be ready to uh, apply. But I want to make sure I get an even concentration in each one of these buckets. So stirring it up I think should help with that. There we go. I'll put half in there and half in there. Now what I'm going to need is something a little bit larger to stir the buckets besides my knife. So for that, I've got a large stick here. I'm going to use it to stir in the nematodes. Now you're going to want to stir this each time before you fill your watering can. That way you get an even concentration in each gallon of water. I won't stir that one yet. I can't see any reason since I'm going to start with this bucket. So now I'm going to transfer some of this from this bucket, approximately one gallon, over to my watering can. Now keep in mind, if you don't have a one gallon watering can, they make buckets that are labeled on the inside with how much water is in it. And since my bucket is labeled, I can go from the five gallon mark down to the four gallon mark and know I got exactly one gallon. My can is now ready to apply to one colony. So now let's move on over to the nukes behind me and I'll show you how to apply this. Okay, so we're going to take our one gallon mixture and we're going to distribute it around the colony. Try and get under the colony. Basically, you want to concentrate the area that the larva would fall out of the colony and go to. I also want to recommend that you do this after a good rain. Um, and maybe Maybe even do it in between rains. That will help wash it into the soil. Um, we had some rain yesterday. And uh, this morning, not only from the rain, but from the dew, the ground is really, really soaked. So now I need to take time and apply the rest of this mixture. And then I will be done. Another thing I want to throw out there real quick is you want to make sure to do this first thing in the morning or at the last thing of the day as the sun's starting to set. Or maybe even on an overcast day. You don't want the sun beating right down on these nematodes. You want to give them a chance to get into the soil and keep from drying out. So what do you think? Looks pretty simple, huh? Um, no special tools needed. Some water, a watering can, a little cup, and a stir stick. And then, of course, you need to order your nematodes. There's a link for that down in the video description. You can also find a link in my video description that'll take you over to my blog 
and maybe explain the nematodes just a little bit better than what I have done here. Um, I'm also going to try and link it up here in the corner, but at this time I can't say whether YouTube's going to allow me to do that or not. So it will for sure be down in the video description. You might also check up here in the corner, click on the information button if there is one there, and see if a link pops up down the side here. I was recently contacted by a company that's raising these nematodes and they're giving me this opportunity to sell them and make a small commission on each sale. Um, the price is no higher than if you went to them directly and purchased them. If you enjoyed this video, um, throw me a big thumbs up. That'll help boost it in the YouTube search ranks and make it easier for anybody else that's battling small hive beetles um, to find. I'd also like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and make sure you click on the little bell so you can be notified when I release new videos. I'd like to thank you for watching and I'd like to throw a big thank you out to my Patreons for the support they've shown me. That's greatly appreciated. We'll see you next week folks and uh, happy beekeeping.